Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with another Mattel Jurassic World Legacy Collection release. This is another set that has just released, just beginning to show up at Targets. We actually have a Barry figure. It is about time we got a Barry figure. For some reason, he is just like so overlooked when it comes to figures like he's been in the franchise since Jurassic World and we're only now finally getting a figure of him that's absolutely crazy but you can see that we've got him on top of an ATV as well as a Velociraptor in here which if I were a betting man I would say that's probably meant to be Velociraptor Charlie and uh, again the packaging looks pretty cool we've got a nice window area a nice forested setting around it if we turn the box around to the back we can get a nice little sneak peek of the set and what is included in it so let's pop this box open and check it out so so first of all, one thing I really like is the packaging, because if you have somewhere to kind of set it up against, that is a great way to display the figures, because if you bring in Barry, first of all, I have him now loose, of course, and uh, we take him and we actually set him up there, and then he also actually comes with a weapon, which didn't focus on that right there. But if we bring in Velociraptor Charlie, of course, you could set Charlie up there. And tell me, that is not the best way to display this set. That is absolutely awesome. I really, really like that. And I definitely hope that they continue to do this into the future. I would love to see more sets having this style of packaging. But again, everything does look really cool here at first glance, but the best way to really tell is with a closer look. So let's go ahead and jump straight to it. So first of all, with our Barry figure, we of course want to get a look at him because in my opinion, he would definitely be the star of this set. When it comes to the head sculpt, I think for the most part, they've definitely captured his likeness pretty well. Looks like maybe we have like a little bit of like I don't know what that is. I thought at first it was glue, but it's like almost like a little hint of like the gloss coat that they were using for something that's run up there onto the forehead. I'm not too sure. But you can see that on top of capturing his likeness pretty nicely, we've got the eyes painted out. He has eyebrows and even has facial hair, which is really cool to see. Of course, when you turn him around, you can see again that the sculpting and everything looks really nice everywhere. Definitely, uh, Got some very nice fine detail to him. You can see the ears sculpted out. We do, of course, have articulation in the neck, which can completely swivel around if we want to go that far. It doesn't really go up and down, just basically left and right. As you move down into his outfit, you can see some nice wrinkles and stuff within his jacket that he kind of has on here. You can kind of pull that open to get a better look at his shirt. You can kind of make out the pecs of Barry right there. And also, again, some nice wrinkling increasing in the shirt itself, which is pretty cool. Of course, we have very nice arm articulation forward and back, but we can also come up away from the body. And then we also have elbow articulation that can swivel yes absolutely can swivel no wrist articulation or anything like that and of course the other arm is going to have the same articulation as you move down here along the course of the arm you can see the actual arm itself is really nicely sculpted once it comes out of the sleeve the hands as well are sculpted nicely and they are, are of course the fingers are in the position to hold on to the handlebars of the ATV so he should be able to grasp on there pretty decently as you move down you can kind of make out the belt that he is wearing but there isn't any actual paintwork for the belt outside of the coloration of his pants he does have a swivel in the midsection though and then of course course articulation in the legs forward and back pretty nicely and out away from the body if you want to start performing some splits with your berry figure but as you move down through the course of the pants again the pants look great as far as the fine detail goes all sorts of creases and everything here through the course of the pants you also have knee articulation forward and back and that can swivel as well and then you move down here into his boots. You can see his boots are also nicely sculpted, painted with a dark brown. And the undersides look pretty decent. So overall, Barry is absolutely really well done. And I'm so happy to now see him actually in the Mattel line. We've also got his weapon, which you can see does look pretty good. There's no real paintwork or anything, of course. But as far as the fine detail goes, it looks absolutely fantastic. 
definitely a really nice addition to our Barry figure, one that of course you would expect him to come with, as well as of course his ATV, which he uses to ride through the jungles with Owen to take the Velociraptor pack out to look for the Indominus Rex. And one thing that I think is really cool that I do see on the ATV is the fact that we actually have pegs down here so that you can apply those to the feet of Barry to help him stay on the ATV. That is definitely a nice touch. Sculpt-wise, again, everything looks great throughout. There's not really a whole lot going on as far as paintwork, basically just some dark grays and greens, but it does look pretty good overall. You can see that we do have the headlights here as far as a sticker applied to the front of the ATV. We do have some mobility in the steering aspect which can completely swivel around and you can see the back actually as well of that area. And then you can of course keep going with that. We also have some decent mobility within the wheels so you can see we can definitely hit up some very rough terrain with these wheels which is definitely cool again giving them quite a bit as far as maneuverability and of course they turn nicely and they do move overall really well and then the underside also looks pretty good so definitely a very nice addition as far as what you would want to have with Barry I think you can't really ask for much more than that you can also see the tail lights are applied with a sticker as well and then as far as the Velociraptor goes, unfortunately, it's not really that great of a raptor. It is pretty cool to see Charlie. It is cool to see that raptor make an appearance again in the Mattel line, though this isn't really that great of a version of Charlie. We can see that the sculpt is a reused sculpt. They did not include any sort of a new raptor, so we have already gone over the sculpt in the past. The only thing that differs on this one would be the paint apps, and there's not really all that much when it comes to the paint apps of the figure. You basically have a very dark gray green for the large majority of the body you do have an alternate light green for the lower jaw but that doesn't extend down into the underside there's absolutely no paintwork for the underside of the raptor the nails are not painted and in fact i don't even see like a speckling or anything really on this one at all anywhere we do have a striping effect moving down through the course of the back also quite reminiscent to charlie you can see it's basically a dark gray though uh, as far as the striping goes moving down and it does actually run out onto the tail out to about here which is pretty cool because that's not always something you see on Mattel figures so I do have to at least give them some props as far as that goes but it's still not really a great thing we do of course have lots of articulation on the figure well not lots but a decent bit pretty much your standard you can see we have a nice pinkish tone for the inside of the mouth the teeth are all painted with kind of like a light yellowish tone maybe like an off-white bordering on a light yellow and then of course we also have the eyes that are painted with a yellowish tone but we don't even have black pupils the pupils are actually the dark green that you see there in the face because you can see we do have a little alternate coloration in the face which is actually a darker green than what we see through the majority of the body you can see it just kind of starts right here and then patterns up into the palette area before disappearing completely of course outside of that the articulation is the neck which can swivel around and move up and down I'm actually a very big fan of the articulation that style of articulation for the Raptors the arms forward and back they don't come out away from the body same deal for the legs forward and back don't come out away from the body and a swivel tail so that's really about it when it comes to the articulation but it's an okay Raptor I guess as far as the ATV goes I just wanted to give you guys one quick visual of how smooth it is it does move very nicely and again you have the ability to kind of wobble it as far as the wheels and everything goes which means you can definitely hit up again some pretty rough terrain with the figure and uh, I don't really feel like we need to do much outside of what we've already done I don't think we need sizes we've had a million Raptors before we've had lots of human figures which he of course would be in the three and three quarter inch range and we've had an ATV in the past already actually a few times with Owen so not really a whole lot needed as far as sizes or comparisons or anything like that so it is about time that we have Barry now in the Mattel line. I've been waiting for him to make an appearance forever. Now, if only we could get a Franklin. But it is really cool to see Barry enter the line again finally. Definitely really nicely done as far as his figure goes. I think they've, you know, pretty closely captured the resemblance of Barry. I don't think that they're ever absolutely perfect, but for the most part, I think it looks like him. There is a few things that look a little wonky in the face of him, but I don't say anything in the face looks bad the 
paintwork is pretty decently done again they've definitely added a little bit to him that makes him have at least a decent look of course he's not like Hammond collection quality but he's okay looking as far as the paintwork goes and he does have some pretty nice and very smooth articulation the ATV is also pretty nice not really a whole lot to it again it's almost like a bare bones ATV but what they have given us is fairly decent it looks like the ATV as far as my memory serves me anyway the one that Barry was on in Jurassic World kind of uh, from what I can recall definitely looks like it and it does have some pretty nice maneuverability which is cool on top of that again Barry's got a weapon which is definitely something that you would want him to have considering what he does and we've got a velociraptor as always but it is a pretty lazy raptor overall there's not a whole lot to it when it comes to the coloration and uh, again it's pretty close to bare bones as well when it comes to the paint that we do have it is nice to see some paint running out onto the tail at least but it would have been nice to see painted nails and a little paint running along the underside i definitely feel like that could have helped the figure quite a lot but still it is a fairly decent looking raptor and uh Again, it's just another of the many that we have, but at least it's not just some random raptor. It is meant to be Velociraptor Charlie. Regardless, it's definitely a fun set overall, just not anything groundbreaking. But it is awesome to finally have Barry in the Mattel line. If you are interested in this, check your local Target. That's where I just purchased this from my local Target. And of course, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.